junk. I'm gonna fix it. Screws are completely stripped out. Because this is a push bar on the back, this will fall, so you gotta kinda put your screw in there and let it sit. This, ladies and gentlemen, that's important right now. This is what I'm looking for. This is a brand new lock set 626 HT24 half lock. You saw that it was a push bar on the back of the lock I'm replacing, so it's not a full lock, it's a half. Um, this is the Onity HT24 lock, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing and take a look at it. We got the new handle here, some hardware, just got to do shit, there we go, so, fuck out of here dude, this, brand new HT24 half lock. So first thing I'll do is I'll take a look at the back and you can see it's set up different. So I'm going to have to take the back off of this one and replace it off the half lock so it fits in the door so I don't have to cut any new holes or anything and it mounts right in there perfect. No problem. So go ahead and do that now. So this is the old lock. Obviously this is the new lock and you can see you put it bottom to bottom. The mounts don't line up. These have these mounts in, and this one has no mounts on the bottom at all. So, I'll take the whole clutch out and show you. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this clutch kit out because you can see this is a cross. The new one is a square, and that's not going to work. So, we got to take this clutch out, replace it with this one, um, and uh, also keep this same back plate as well. Uh, obviously take that my handy work out screw I couldn't get out I'll bust that out of there clean up these screw holes and uh, put this back on the new lock like so and then uh, the lock will just pop right in there and this is important when you're switching these locks out they could all be mounted differently you don't want to have to drill new holes into the door especially if it's a push bar on the back you want to keep that existing setup I'm gonna take the back off of this one and um, and uh, put all the new stuff back together first let's take this clutch right here apart Take these two out first. Now you, can, you don't have to do this, but get this cord out of your way. This one's so old. Okay, there we go. It's for the battery board. Now this just pops out. And so. This is what we're looking for right here. Just this piece, this is all we need. Obviously, that little tiny spring in there, if this is something that you wanna keep, a lot of times that thing can pop out, it's gone. Um, you got a spring here. Uh, this stuff is easy to lose, so be super careful when you're taking this stuff apart. All right, so, got everything we need here. Let's go ahead and take this lock apart and remove the clutch kit. Again, so we got the new lock. All you need to do is underneath this little tiny uh, water gasket here, uh, there's a screw, screw, pop those out. Um, you'll probably have to unravel this uh, battery board cord here. It kind of wraps through this plastic piece. Go ahead and pop that out and uh, we can switch those out. All right, so brand new one. Again, there's your tiny little spring. You don't want to uh, lose any of this stuff, so be very careful not to disrupt it. Old clutch. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that with some lithium. Now, obviously, 
You see? Little hole right there. So pop that right on just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and use the cover for my other newer clutch. It still has this new water gasket and stuff on there. Got our screws back in. Got the pre-existing clutch in, screws, rewrap the cord. Now we got our old back. Go like that. And then we'll just pop our screws back in and uh, pop our handle on. And then we'll take it downstairs and try to hook it up and see if it works. Moment of truth, pop it back together. Programmed batteries. Looks like a charm. Try one more time. Perfect. Fantastic.